What is up, everybody? Welcome back to RaceNews.com, and welcome back to another one of our previews, and welcome back to the studio here as I'm done with the road for a few weeks and back home in the home studio. So always good to be back home after a long trip, and always good to have your good equipment as well. All right, let's get to it. We're going to go to Colonial Downs here. We're going to go to Race 9 on the card, the Beverly D Stakes, Grade 1 event here. Going to mile 3 16th. We are on the turf for this one, $500,000 purse. The Beverly D and the Arlington Million ran at Colonial this year. Um, yeah, it's better than at Churchill Downs, I guess. Hopefully, uh, you know, um, you know, it's not Arlington, but, you know, hopefully people go out and enjoy the races at Colonial. Really good turf course there, actually. All right, let's get to it here. Like I said, field of seven, um, pretty evenly matched group this time. I'm going to go number five, uh, Didia, on top here as my top selection. Um, th this horse has just been really solid since coming over. Uh, to the United States, uh, four wins in five starts. That only loss coming last time out to market segmentation up to Belmont Park. Only got beat three quarters of a length. Market segmentation was just running very, very well at that time. But uh, Diddy came up almost beat her. So really good effort there. Also has uh, two wins over this turf course. I think that's, uh, you know, I don't think it's the end all be all, but I do think that's uh, important. So uh, I do like the five quite a bit here. I'll put her in first. Number six, Gina Romantica is who I'll put in second. Uh, coming off of uh, second start, I should say, off of the layoff last time out. Only got beat a length and a quarter to consumer spending in a decent race there at Monmouth Park. Like I said, really think this horse will improve second off the layoff. It was two for three last year when she moved to the turf. Uh, for my third uh, selection, I'll go number one, Efev Rover. Um, this is a horse that came within a half length of White Bean and um, in Italian last time out in the Diana. Uh, obviously a very tough race. Those are two uh, extremely talented uh, female turf runners. Fed Rover, like I said, only a half length behind. I think she'll run good in this spot as well. A little bit of a class drop for her. I know it's grade one to a grade one, but this seems like a little bit weaker of a field. So Fed, Fed Rover, the one horse, will be my third choice. And then I'll go number seven, Rocky Sky. In fourth, coming off of a layoff here for Chad Brown. That's usually not too big of a problem. He usually has them ready to rock off of layoffs. Uh, the horse two back won a grade three at uh, Belmont at the Big A. And then the last time we saw this horse was second, beating a length and a half in another grade three at Aqueduct. You know, you've seen her at Saratoga run decent as well uh, last year. So I think she'll show up with a good effort here. I don't think she's quite as good as my top choices, but I do like her in fourth, the number seven, Rocky Sky. All right. Let's um, let's recap it here. Number five, Didia on top for me. Number six, Gina Romantica in second. Number three, Fev Rover in third. And then that number four, Rocky Sky. Not to be confused with Rocky Five, but Rocky Sky in fourth. All right, guys, that'll do it for the preview here of the Beverly D, D uh, live from Colonial Downs. That's never going to be not weird to say, but that'll do it for the preview here. Hit that like button if you like it. Hit subscribe if you really like it. Want to get alerted anytime we do videos like this. And most importantly, good luck if you're betting Colonial on Saturday. RacingNews.com is your home for the best free picks for every race, every track. Summer's here. Our picks are heating up. We want you to join us in the fun. Subscribe to the Racing Dudes YouTube channel right now. Click the notification bell. You don't want to miss a single one of our awesome videos. Want to make money betting horses? Bet with the Racing Dudes.